Miller here with uh, Good Ski Technologies and today we're going to show you how to change the interlock or dual lock 3M tape on the bottom of a power shell plate. So been in the hot sun now it's uh, 90 degrees so ideally getting it warm helps um, and then next thing is just to get the edge broke free so you're going to use a, a bar or a knife or something just to get it started. I usually get them all going like that first. And if you're really lucky, the glue will come off with the tape. You get a good start here first with your finger. Then you can either pull it with a pliers like this, okay? Or if you want, you can just pull it with your so this one's coming off really good. I'm not leaving any glue behind. It's ideal. If you leave the tape on for a long time and it's in the sun a lot, it'll separate. Your glue will get stuck to the plate. Then you got to go to Home Depot and you have to get Goo Gone. Goof Off or Goo Gone, I think it's called. And that uh, will soak that on your plate and the glue and then you can scrape it off uh, with some sort of a scraper. Um, if your if your glue tends to stick, some of this some of this glue may separate. So you'll we'll see if we have any. I put one row down the middle too, just because. With 250, I don't feel I'm stuck well enough if I don't have the middle row on there. Helps a little bit. Okay, one more, and we got a little bit of glue at the back, looks like. It's not coming perfectly clean. So, two options now. You can go get that Goof Off, Goo Gone product, which is ideal. It's the best way to take this off, but typically it's just a little bit. What I do, I get it on a firm surface like this. Depends how the uh, table is, and then scrape off the little bits. I just use my pry bar that comes with the good kit. And I just take off that little bit of residue that might, if it's just a little bit, doesn't take much. Kind of clean up any little areas that feel like they're a little bit residue left behind from the tape. And again, you can go get Goo Gone and it just dissolves it. Then you got to scrape it off the same way and then wash it with soap and water and clean it before you retape. I don't I don't need to do that cuz it came off clean. I'm just going over a few little areas that have a little tiny bit of residue here and there. Make sure it's nice and smooth. There's no rough areas. And you won't have the adhesion with the new tape. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, I am ready. Just removed it, and uh, we actually have removed some glue, but I'm gonna show you how you remove excess glue 
with Goo Gone Citrus Base Goo Gone. So all you do is you spray it on the plate and you're going to let it sit for 10 or 15 minutes. And what that does is dissolves any excess glue. It's, if you have ex excessive thick glue on there, you're going to use your scraper knife and you're going to put it in a solid bench where you can get two people, scrape off the excess glue and then use the Goo Gone to get the fine little bits left um, off. So this is, um, let's assume this has been 10, 15 minutes and now I'm just going to use a little bit of water and I'm just going to clean it up with a little Scotch-Brite scuff pad just to take any bits of leftover glue on there off. This uh, also just kind of slightly cleans the surface with this Scotch-Brite and it'll actually help your tape stick. It doesn't hurt it. You, I mean, you don't want to sand it with sandpaper. You just want to use a light scotch braid. And then you can rinse it off with a hose, well, or the lake. Whatever you got handy. In this case, I'll use the lake. Now, it's, it's got a, a bit of an oily film, so I've got to take some soap, soap and water. And okay, I have the soap. I'm going to put a little bit of soap on the plate. Use my scotch braid again. And just clean it. Get the residue off of, from the citrus cleaner, the Gugon citrus cleaner. Have to make sure it's really good and clean and you don't have no more residue left. There, it's starting to look good now. You can see when the residue's all gone, the plate just looks nice and uniform. It's not oily looking. Okay, so that's gonna dry. We're gonna give that 10 minutes, let her dry. Okay, we've had a 10 minute uh, dry time. We've cleaned this, prepared it, used the uh, citrus, citrus based uh, Goo Gone again to take the glue off. Um, it's dry now, we're gonna install the interlock. So you take your 250 interlock, peel the backing. If you've cleaned it, prepared it properly, you don't have to use the adhesion primer, which you can get from good. It comes in little sticks. Um, although it, it never hurts to use it if you want. I don't use them and I've never had a problem, but preference. So you just line it up with the edge of the plate and just kind of roll it along. If you, pull, if you make a mistake, you can pull it up. Get it nice on the edge. Give it a little rub and you'll see the whiteness goes away when it's stuck properly. Take your little utility knife, trim it. Next row. Okay, same thing. Run it along the edge. I'm gonna lay it down just for a little bit of stability here. Again, again, trim it. Now we're gonna do the inside. Two rows. Tape on. 
one again and the fourth piece here two on each side to start just line it up alongside of the previous one I installed you just go right over top of the the nut clips for now the boot clips we'll trim those in a minute Okay, rub it on everywhere. Then when we get to these clips here, we just cut around them lightly. This next. I usually take a ruler and I line it up. Turn that over. Do the opening for the puzzle piece. Turn that. And then you got to go around the screw. That's just a matter of carefully kind of cutting around it the best you can. Getting that piece out of there. Okay, so that cuts the screw holes. Rub it on real good, make sure there's no clear areas. Trim all the ends. You're clean front and rear. Get all your edges clean just so there's nothing sticking up or out. Or... That is now finished uh, with two rows of interlock. On, this, on the power plate, cut out for the clips, and ready to install back onto the ski.